everyone, this is Kath from Kath's Aussie Bypass. It is now eight days since I've had my Ruan Y gastric bypass surgery. Uh, a lot has happened in that time, uh, some good, some bad. Um, I am so thrilled to have had it done. Uh, despite everything, I have, I have no regrets. It is very nice to be on the other side. Um, the morning of the surgery, I was quite nervous, um, but, but, but not too bad. I really hadn't been nervous up until then. Uh, the admissions nurse asked me my date of birth and I actually gave her the wrong date and I've never done that in my life, so I, I must have been pretty nervous. Um, I was first on the surgery list that day, so uh, it was pretty much got there, into the gown, and I was on my way to theatre, and I was probably done about 8.30 in the morning. I didn't wake up in recovery, or I don't remember waking up. I woke up on the ward, not intensive care, as was previously thought. Uh, I woke up in a lot of pain. A lot of left hand pain. Uh, it felt like I'd broken my ribs, but I knew I hadn't, but it was sort of that intense, sore feeling. Uh, I have six cuts, uh, or one drainage hole that um, I had tubing coming out of, that which went to uh, a bottle which hung on the bed, on the side of the bed, and uh, five other cuts from the operation being done laparoscopically. Uh, I sucked on ice chips that afternoon and that hurt my stomach, just that tiny amount of, uh, of um, water was really quite, was, I was really in a lot of pain. It took me, it took two nurses to take me to the toilet that night. It was it was so hard to move. On the Friday, this day two, it was um, still very painful and they were wondering why I was in so much pain. That Friday night, uh, through the night, uh, the pain increased and I became quite breathless. Uh, my doctor was called and uh, he call, also called in a physician and they sent me, he, the physician from listening to my back thought that I had a, a partially collapsed lung. This was later confirmed on an x-ray. They then associated the pain with the, uh, the drainage tube and the drainage tube was then taken out and my pain was alleviated. But I had about this much tubing inside me and I think it was touching all my insides and that was what was giving me the pain. And because I was in so much pain, I couldn't breathe. I was breathing too shallow, shallowly and this caused the, the partial lungs collapse. So from there, I continued to improve and improve. Um, because of that setback, it, I was in hospital for six days, um, which is a couple of days longer than than I thought I would have been in. I was very well looked after, um, lots of medication. They didn't want me in the end on endone or anything like that because that was restricting my breathing, which I needed to deep. I needed to breathe more, and that was was um, hindering it. So in the end, I was just on Panadol. Um, the nursing staff were terrific. I had a lovely, great big room all to myself. Uh, I, I was very, yeah, very, very pleased. My top weight ever was 116 kilos. Um, on the day of surgery, I was about 105. I'm now 101, so I'm very close to being two figures and getting under that number, which I'm very pleased about. Uh, before leaving hospital, I said to my surgeon, what is the best advice you can give me? And he said, keep active. So that's what I've been doing. I've been walking since I've been home, just gentle walks. I've been resting and then doing something and then resting and then going for a walk. Um, and honestly, I'm recovering really quite well. I've had Panadol twice today, just to keep it at bay. Uh, I have a, a tablet every night for acid in my stomach. That's just, just to safeguard my uh, my new pouch that I have. I'm now uh, eating differently. I'm on the liquid phase, uh, so I have um, yogurts. Uh, tonight I had uh, pureed up some beef and veggie soup. Uh, um, I could have custard. Tomorrow morning I'm having wheat bix. 
just a bit more variety than what I had on the Optifast. So it's nice to be past that. I also to make up high protein shakes of which I add a scoop of uh, the Betty protein to, and I also add Betty protein to my soups and Betty protein to pretty much whatever I have. Uh, just to to raise that, my protein amount per day. I'm also very seriously watching how much water I drink. I've got a bottle with me at all times because you ca you can only take small sips. So I sip often, yeah, to keep that up. Um, sleeping at night time. Last night I slept, slept very well, so I think I was just so tired. Um, I, I'm a tummy sleeper, so it was very hard to get used to not sleeping on my tummy. Uh, I can sleep on my side, however. Um, what else could I say? I'm take, taking my multivitamins, B12. I need to get some more calcium tablets. Uh, can only, I've got a pill cutter now that I cut my tablets up with because I can't take big tablets. Although I do have the, um, the my multivitamin is a mini tablet, which is good. Um, yeah doing better than I ever thought that I would be doing, uh, feeling quite happy and, and positive. So yeah, th thanks for watching and um, I'll, I'll come back in another week and give you an update.